On the night of September 1st, the remnants of Hurricane Ida came through and unexpectedly dropped probably close to eight inches of rain within a short span of time that night. Our building was under one to three feet of water in most areas of the building. My first time arriving to the school uh, after the flooding uh, was a great shock. It, it was not what we expected at all. Uh, even from the outside, just the, the land, the debris, the, the silt that was just covered everywhere, uh, you knew right away that uh, it was much worse than, than we were thinking. It just felt like we were being kicked when we were down and just starting to get up and we were kicked down again. The picture that was most telling for our community uh, the day after this occurred was uh, the f photos of the auditorium being completely submerged and almost all the chairs in the auditorium uh, being completely submerged by water. I couldn't believe it. It was surreal. For days a afterward, I would wake up in the morning and take a few moments to think, did I have a, a nightmare? Or are we really living through this? We know that the water was above this, so the water level was probably about this, this high in this whole auditorium. So our boiler room area, uh, this, this was submerged, this walk down pit area, the water level was up to about here. Much of the materials and resources in the building are being discarded. Uh, very shocking to see the amount of uh, garbage that's being assembled outside the building at multiple sites with multiple dumpsters. I was not expecting that. As each day passes, it's interesting to interact with the remediation company. Uh, they're not just doing their, their job physically for the building, but they're, they're also supportive of us too in these conversations, so we're appreciative of that. While the building is not in operation, our, our school is functioning. Our teachers are instructing every day uh, in person with uh, Zoom, live instruction with Zoom and Google Meet. On this new page that says Christmas and holiday choral music, I scroll down, 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 down. These kids are not happy. They want to be back in their school building. They want to see their, their teachers and, and their friends, their classmates, and they're eager for that. And we're just so motivated to do that work, to get that for them as soon as possible. We know that we will be back. It's not a question of if, it's just a question of when. We have our, our spirit of community that has not been damaged. If anything, it's even stronger. And we will, we will rise, we will rise from this. We know we will.